Hello Star Wars fans and toy fanatics, Steve back here with your friends and as always my friends, thank you so much for hanging out with me as we take a look at some more Star Wars action figure goodness. As for today's video, we're going to focus on Star Wars Black Series 6 inch line. This is a Clone Trooper Sergeant number 7 in the series. A very very cool figure, you're going to have some great articulation, a very very nice sculpt and of course new paint applications. But before we get into all that kind of stuff, Let's take a look at the box that he comes in really quick for you. Now this is number 7 in the series. And you do have the new blue striping as far as the packaging is concerned. And let's take a little shot of the portrait right on top for you. And we'll take a look at the back of the box real quick. Now I do believe this is a shot from Attack of the Clones. Very very cool. You got the gunship in the background which is awesome. Very very nice and a little bit of the text if you'd like to pause and read that. Now with this uh, clone trooper mold, this is actually the same mold as we received earlier from Hasbro. Um, just in just an added paint applications course and be prepared to Hasbro to keep milking this sculpt because it is a very fine sculpt. So we've probably uh, seen uh, this guy come out in a few other colors in the coming months as well. But you know, it's all good with me, man, because I am a big fan of clone troopers, so the more, the merrier, as far as I'm concerned. So, let's take a look at this guy a little more closely here. As you can see, he just comes some great, great paint applications, and that's the whole point of getting this guy, right? Is for the paint applications. Now, um, exact same mold as the earlier release, but of course you just have the new added paint applications on the shoulders and on the helmet and of course you do have a rank insignia on his chest there which is very very cool now the sculpt itself is an awesome sculpt the helmet is done very very nicely now everything seems pretty clean nice nice attention to detail there a very nice sculpt and you even have even a little red light on top of the the helmet there which is an awesome touch very very cool sculpt of the helmet is pretty spot on as far as I'm concerned and I do really enjoy it it looks pretty cool in my opinion now you do get more of the chest there uh, everything seems molded very very nice of course again this is a straight repaint the mold itself is already a fantastic mold so you can't go wrong with that you know you're gonna get some nice detail in the belt there all the little uh, gadgets he's got on the belt is very very nicely molded and you have some nice molding on the legs of course some more added paint applications on the back of the legs there which is nice and a little bit more paint applications on the bottom of the feet very very nice now he does come with a couple of weapons here, which is a, a little bit different perhaps. Well, they actually added a few paint applications to these weapons, which is awesome. And I'd love it with, if they could do that for the rest of the figures. That'd be awesome. Sometimes they do, and sometimes they don't. It's just uh, kind of a mystery why they don't do it all the time. But the mold itself, as far as the weapon is concerned, is very, very nice. You do have a slight paint application right there. It looks like on the clip there, which is very, very cool. And the little things like that make the... Uh, weapon so much nicer and I wish they could continue that with the six inch line but you just never know what you're gonna get sometimes as far as the weapons are concerned but still nonetheless very very cool now he does come also with the his blaster rifle which again does have some added paint ap applications on the bottom there which is very very nice the mold itself is very very cool as well you know very very cool looking and it does fit very nicely in either of his hands. So you can't go wrong with that. Again, nice touch on the little paint applications on there. Very, very cool. And as always with these guys, you're going to get some fantastic articulation, guys. You're going to have the ball hinged head here, ball joints on the arms. You do have an upper swivel above the bicep there as well, double joints on the elbows. A swivel and a ball joint on the wrist. You do have a upper torso ball joint as well. And you do have the ball joints on the legs with the upper swivel thigh 
double joints on the knees and rocker joints on the ankles so posability is not a factor with this guy you can get this guy some very very cool poses and that's what it's, what it's all about right friends overall a fantastic figure and a great addition to your Star Wars collection so this guy is retailing about $19.99 but you know giving being that it's Christmas time you might be able to pick this guy up at a cheaper price sometime soon and he is should be available at Target and online if you're interested in adding that guy to your collection. Very, very cool. So thank you so much for joining me today, my friends. I wish you all a very happy holiday, a Merry Christmas, of course. And of course, my DVD recommendation of the day is none other than a fantastic movie. I have seen this movie once a day since it's come out last week. Um, I love it. It's fantastic. It's a great movie, and I know I sure I don't have to tell you guys how great this movie is, because as all of you may know, it is a fantastic movie. It's highly recommended viewing, and as a matter of fact, it's highly recommended for your DVD or Blu-ray collection for your home. You can't go wrong with this movie. A fantastic movie. Enjoyed every minute of it. Really, really good. I loved it so much. I had to go out and get all the figures for it because I could not be without these guys. I just had to add add the Guardians of the Galaxy to my collection. So. If, I went ahead and picked all those up and added those guys to my collection. I'm not going to do a review on those or anything, but I just want to let you know, go out and get that movie, man, because it's really, really cool. And as always, my friends, thank you so much for joining me. I do appreciate each and every one of you. And again, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and I will be back very, very soon with more Star Wars reviews and action figures for you, my friends. And I can't wait to get started on that. So until next time. Have a great day, and as always, happy hunting, my friends, and I will see you all very, very soon.